Welcome back from that short break. I hope you guys are still catching fire like we are still catching fire right in this shit. Yes. <laughs> if you it's getting en- hot inside it's getting here. Hot. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just a yeah, reminder, yeah, Electra <laughs> is on the walk. If you have, you know, anything to tell us about what we just talked about, leave the comments down below, you know, keep the conversation going on. We need to hear from you guys. Okay, let me tell you something. I have a friend um I don't know if they're in a relationship with this person, but they, she feels like she loves this person and the other person, maybe, I don't know, the love faded in like months, mm. I think. But my friend is too much in love to accept that the other person doesn't... Dump them. Yes. Mm. But something strange happens where if my friend moves on, the other person now comes back. Toxic, toxic, toxic. toxic. And then there there are things that this person wants to feel. My friends, I mean, my friend make them feel that those things, but my friend doesn't get anything in return. Toxic. You understand? They'd be like, I I want you to, you know, to tell you, like those things, like, and then the friend would do, and you didn't bring me breakfast. And then they want to, you know, all these. And then when your friend wants their hair touched? That does not happen. Uh, toxic patterns. And toxic. then what is the answer? The answer will be like, ah, zero civic one, zero civic man. Sadist. Zero civic man. Narcissist. Thank you. So, tell your friends. That is the that is the word that I wanted to come up. Narcissist. Yes, I don't know how to say it. Narcissist. But it's Narcissist. Gloria, yeah, tell me about that word. What are those people? What does that mean? So those kinds of people are very selfish, first of all, mm. right? And if you're in a relationship with a person that is narcissistic, they don't love you. For them, they are, for lack of a better word, they are slave owners because they want to treat other people's feelings and love as something that they can toy and slave with. I think, and I I, I would like to think it's a disorder. Like Uh they need to treat themselves of that if it's possible and heal themselves. They're egomaniacs. Because they just go around damaging people by how they treat them. I want someone to explain to me in, you know, Luanda, some, so that, you know, someone can also get it like in that. We have to put nurses in Luanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're They're in love with themselves. No, they don't have to have that. Yeah, yeah, girl, is that. No, 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 no. A narcissistic person doesn't even love themselves. Because whatever they portray has been done to them. So they first it's hate It's a projection of are, insecurity. Exactly. They, they, the amount of hatred they have for themselves, they want to spread it on to someone else. Because when they do, they feel better. What they do to you makes them feel better. Because already them as human beings feel worse. They can't be alone. They can't live with themselves. So the only way they live with you is to torture you. Feeding on the week. And they'll come out as loving, good, exceptional people. And you'll be like, oh my God, I've met the man or the girl or the, the whoever person. I have. This person is my person. They love are totally my life. with you after. Because they first learn who you are, what you want. But mostly, your weakness. Yeah. And then they, they'll pray on they that. Pray some are re- some yeah. really love themselves so much. That's why they are selfish. Because it's about them. They don't them, love themselves. Them, That's them, the whole thing. Them. They don't. They want to fill the void that is in within the them. Emptiness. So you fill that void. That's why they take from you mm. to give themselves. Let me understand. That's why whenever you leave, they come back. Mm. Whenever you leave, they come but back also, because you fill them. Just tell you people something about us. They usually have very good sex, by the way. That is they have a problem. They have they everything have, good. They are very, very good, good sex. No, really. So you I get confused. Please, please do yeah, not let the sex confuse you. So before... <laughs> <laughs> Before you take, okay. Look, mm-hmm. I I just want to I just I, I just oh, I've dated <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I love. This is really getting to me. Because don't confuse the sex for love. They don't love you. Sex is really good. Yeah. I, I I need to know. I need to know when I need to leave a relationship like this. You understand? Eh? Mm-hmm. I need to know. Like, what makes it so hard for these people to? I mean, for people to leave the toxic relationships. Sometimes it's the sex. You can't leave because you're having good sex and then yes, you're hurting. Yes, yes. yes. That's yes. the truth. Now, this is going to... Man- this manifest is, manifests in so many ways, but one of the ways is this. If someone is addicted to sex, 
they can be healthy sex. And one thing that narcissists will do is they don't they use sex to make you addicted to them. So they will not give sex free. And usually when they give it, they'll give it as a um, like you've been a good girl. Yes. Like but they will do things to you that you'll want to experience again and then hold them until they feel like you deserve them. Things that make you see rainbows. Okay. So if you are a person who because we look for different things in relationships, mm -hmm. right? So if you're a person whose sex is very important to you, this yes. can be something that can keep you there. Yeah, then that's where I was going. Mm -hmm. This can keep you there. Because I, 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 I love, I love Twitter rumor. Like, there's this person that talked about a partner. Who would put, like, this is narcissism. I don't even know how. Like, pro max. Like, this person would put cocaine. In the forest. Yes. No, what? That and have this person have sex with them. Remember, like our fluids mix with our bloodstreams. Yeah. When cocaine gets to your bloodstream, work? it makes you high. Yes. So every time this person had sex, they would feel a way they have never felt before. Let because we was getting yes. high. Wait. So who is, every who is, time wait, who is person, putting the cocaine in the the narcissistic person. The narcissistic person. In their pussy or their partner? In the pussy. In the other person. In the pum It's okay. The other person over. Inside the other person's pum pum that they are sleeping with. So they would make up making them high. And this is a person who does not use drugs. So oh, they didn't nice. understand the effect of what they, this person. Because for them they'd be like, oh my god, when I have sex with this, I feel like I've never felt before. Mm -hmm. So every time mm -hmm. they, they left them, they would get withdrawal symptoms of cocaine. Yeah. But for them it's the sex. Because they don't understand that cocaine is involved. Mm -hmm. So they'll be feeling like, I want to feel how oh, I feel when they touch God. me. And they kept going back. And back. Until one day they discovered that. Girl, it wasn't the same. So the cocaine they touch them, that would just make you feel like, you are top of the world. <laughs> DJ, yeah. what makes it so hard for you to leave? Is it the sex again? The sex also, but man. <laughs> Do you know the funny thing? The sex starts up work. Like when, they, when you want, you have to beg for that sex. Like you have to be good high. that day. Like you have to actually let want me, that sex. Let me ask again. Day. How long did the relationship go? Mine, yeah. six years. Six years. Man, that's hey. it. Until I was like, you know what? Hey, fuck, fuck these things. <laughs> 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 but then, wait. What took it so long? Man. Uh, first of all, um, to make that decision. In tia, first of all, fear of first of all being alone. Also, because this person was like the first person I ever fell in love with, so the fear to lose all of that You're the love of your life, the love of my life. How do I begin? How I can't be alone? I used to fear actually being alone is very scary for me. I have someone who's like a hot, hot judge, but like the fear of leaving them, like I'll be lonely, and also that I they might hurt me if I left. Were they violent? They were not, but they call me a eh? So they were emotionally violent. Yes, like it's a joke. Umbo gorilla by the way. When you were chanting, umbo gorilla got it. Wait, you fear that if you go away, they will find you wherever you went. Never umbo gorilla. But no, no, you like come back. You belong here. Like there was that. I go away. Yes, to all the mutual. Ah, 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 but you know, I love you. Like, there was those things that make you feel bad, but then there's this kind of nice thing they would say nice At about. the end. So in my head, I would feel like, no love, I will lie. I love you. Love you can't. It's a movie. No love, no movie. I think it is my fault. <laughs> so it would be like, this person is going, you know, I They painted you an image that you're bad. Yes. I love you, that yes. you're bad. They used to tell me every day, I mean, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch. But because what? I didn't give you some. Or because I didn't cook over what you wanted, over what, those were the reasons. Or because I told you something. In Chimani, I took time to understand that they were, you know, in this Baba Kula and Baba Kula Bichimu, I think they looked at this thing. So we had this crossing personalities. But while I, I tried to go go a lot, I like half half, na ye ye nga zifo. They were into churning They were not. So that fear and the, the fear of living the, the, the good sex. Yes, and the, yeah, and the good sex. Yeah. Our cocaine was not involved. Melody. Cocaine was not yes. involved, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cocaine. Melody, let me hear from you. Uh, for me, I think it is um, society or our institutions. 
we fear to get exposed as people that are facing violence or um, this kind of abuse. How do you come out and and talk to your pastor that oh I'm facing this kind of abuse and yet you are the same people that went and you know got married it was all lavish but in church <laughs> there are those moments where they have counselors I, they I have counselors know. but yeah. it's not advisable it's not really advisable to divorce in church so how do you go to the same person that waited you and, and you tell them that you know what no, you cannot yeah. so you be in that relationship and then if you're in a same sex relationship how do you go and explain let's say to the police that oh my partner is beating me up and then they ask you who is your partner and then you're bringing uh, uh, DJ more <laughs> you know you're bringing DJ more and then you know how it's I think being in the same relationship illegal. then you know what to say with, at the police when no. you go to the police be like this person is beating me who are they to you my friend <laughs> are they your partner yes. why are you lying yeah. they are your partner but you can't say that we know we, we, you can't really say it that it would not make police. sense to a police then they'll ask you why why is your friend why beating you why, why, did why are you, you living with how, your how, friend how, 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 like they'll question you you why know you and then you cannot also come out to your you parents you can't live with your friend mm. And then you tell them, hey, she beat me today, she beat me yesterday. And they'll ask you, even if they don't know you're in a same-sex relationship, then they keep asking, but why are you always with that friend? Why can't you leave that friend of yours? You, you can't tell them, oh, I love them. <laughs> or, <laughs> or they are my partner. You, you, there is no way you can express, express. yourself. You so you have to know? stay in that so relationship and like, be banned. Stay in, oh my God, you have but to stay in that um, Just to add something when it comes to police, because with, with with same sex relationships, what happens is you will sometimes you go report your partner as a friend, as a partner. Okay, even if you are, you report as a friend, mm-hmm. knowing how our police treats people, like it would have to take heart for you to accept to allow that they put them in, because sometimes your fear is like they have beaten <laughs> me, but what they are going to experience if I let them go in there, they're gonna rape them, they're gonna beat them. Am I ready to deal with this? And he's like, nah. But no, walk away. Um, it's not as easy. Uh, Sometimes they are like paying the yeah, house yeah, exactly. and doing and everything and you yes. have no job. Yeah, walk mm-hmm. away and go away. Oh, yeah. Start, Start all over again. Go and live where? Yeah. Start all over from where? Should I come to your house? Mm-hmm. Do you I've, have... I've been to house. Some of us have no friends. Yeah. Yeah. Some of our families gave up on us since we began dating women. So go away. Exactly. Your family can never let you go like that. You still go back to oh family. you don't know my family talk about yours you don't know my family so I think I'll they let me you. go so I have plan you exit in Bona but you could die bad. before you exist I know right <laughs> no. so melody is this. staying in this relationship okay I'm not saying I'm not saying the points yeah. according to the points you gave yeah, you're staying in this relationship yeah, because you you have nowhere to report. Mm. Or maybe no ear to listen. No one, no one will listen to me and understand exactly what I'm going through. So this makes you stay there. Yeah, and vulnerable yeah. and die in it. Imagine. This not makes die. You. Fire death. Today. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 So sure. Smiley. <laughs> Smiley is laughing. Smiley now laughing. <laughs> what, what makes it so hard for for this woman or you know this girl to walk away from all this violence um, from all this poison to before I even go to my point I think to add on what she said she who melody okay. before I add on like it's not even on the same sex uh, relationships only even with the other relationships I think it's not even about what sex you are it's about who you are Personality. as a person mm. because like Gloria said family it doesn't matter who you're dating man or woman but where you come from also really matters mm. it really really matters I might be with a man that everyone thought this is my man and then you're afraid to even come home and say I have failed, I have failed. Because you know that when you go home, this is not to be accepted. They'll tell you what they have gone through. 
Oh, you think that is very small? Me, let me tell you, your dad used to beat me, your mom okay, used to do this, eh? Yeah? Yeah, and you're like, so, um, um, what's your age? Oh? Yeah. Let me go back once more. Mm. So it keeps on with the environment, I think. Beat friends, beat whenever we sit in circles and, and when you tell someone your problem, it's not about what you're facing, it's about what they have gone through. So like, oh, then we can change cans you. But personally, you you can endure that. I can't. I think me what would make some people stay in a relationship would be double identity. Mm. It's double identity. When Gloria was starting, she she talked about allegedly the person who is being beaten and everything. Uh, with society, we know something different. At her home, she has something different. That's why when she comes to social media, it's mm. something that she says, no, he didn't beat me. Why? We don't know what she's going through behind these curtains. Yeah. Who is she looking after? Is she even the one who really typed she, that? Even this very threatening. Much. Exactly. Yeah. And sometimes, even seeing this one go like, tell people, I didn't beat you. And because a narcissist will always bring that fear into you, mm-hmm. you'll just say just about it. Even if a friend notices exactly. that her partner, my partner will be like, she fell. Exactly. And then, of course, exactly. he wants to, he wants to like, he oh, be yes. like, yeah, I fell. Yes. Where? Um, so, and then you're looking at them so they can answer because you don't remember everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. double identity that people live and with. Uh, yeah, we see the celebrity, but we don't see the people in them. Mm. We don't know the personalities of those people. And I think so many people, especially the people in Spotlight, mm. have this. Oh, being, but I also being think queer. it's important for us to, co- to uh, what should I say, like power. Mm. It's important for us to check power. Yeah. Because power can make you do things. You do. Like some people, if they were not in powerful positions, would not be abusive. Mm-hmm. But because they know they have power that makes them invincible or untouchable. They do these things because they know they can get like more on power. Could it be money? It could be money. It could be fame. It could be status. Mm-hmm. In in organizations like that, someone could even be an ED. Yeah. And they'll be violent to their partner because they know, like, Leon, what are you gonna say? Who is gonna believe you anyway? Even and if we believe, they... we may not even check the other person because we hold them in high regard. We need them. So I, it may be hard for me to tell. Not me exactly. Me, I don't care. I'll tell you. But for some people, it may be hard for them to tell. Let me say, like Gloria. That Gloria, your partner has reported you to me that you're violent. Because they still need Gloria to give them the favors that she does. Or Gloria to like them. You get it? Mm-hmm. So we also need to, like, if your friend is in power, please, cause, like, turn them. Walk, girl. Walk, no, no, walk. No, 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 no. Before you still walk. walking and no. I'm fine. There's you guys, no walking. Walk. Walk. <laughs> Run. 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 Before you Jog. walk, a jogging is slow. Slow, girls. Really? Before? <laughs> yeah. Before Before you, before you run, before really. you walk, really? before you relay. I think go into a relationship with a motive, not money, not what they're going to see you for. No, but it's okay not for you to be materialistic. It is okay for you, but if you go and then find something else, love. because it, the, the relationship is not built on love. It's built on something. So be in the moment that they give you what you want. Let me tell someone who loves money who gets in a relationship that has money and they are valued. If it's money that took them, you'll not even ever hear them say they're being beaten. <laughs> they will gather the gold, mm-hmm. dig the gold, then and walk. And then they'll walk. Yeah. It is those that love that will complain. <laughs> They could get comfortable. So, I mean, yesterday we had a conversation and someone talked about the responsibility mm. one has. Mm. And then I'm, I'm, I'm having a, a scenario in my head where you went for money and then you're being beaten. But because you have this whole family to look after. Rob no. them. No, I'm lying. You're Work sitting hard. in there <laughs> with all this abuse going on and you can't get out of there. Because the money is yeah, it's Exactly one of the reasons why people stay. Like what, for example, my my, my my cousin, my my cousin had to go to school, but my partner was was doing like a, a scholarship for them. So I was like, please don't stop my brother from going to school. Please, I would always ask. But them this that. person is suffering. Family also needs to check. But I don't know where they put their kids. I don't Electra. Yeah. What makes um, you stay the, in that abusive relation? Oh, for me, I've like from sharing with you guys, I've just realized that I'm a very vengeful person. Mm-hmm. Like when, like I'm a revengeful person. Like when most people, okay, like most people, like the personality they see, the one I show is, you know, I'm sweet, I let things go, but I don't. So, <laughs> so like me, I like the so called like even even for five years, but that one time, I will do something. To so you stayed for revenge. 
Yeah, I said with this person. She was the first time I dated. Oh, so and this and this person <laughs> like literally cheated on me with, with like over three girls on my birthday. Yeah. I saw them, like I saw it. I kept quite like I like I acted normal, like I was still slaying. I was like I was like today is not that little what to cry. Then Sirika after the birthday, then Tandika work plan strategy. After like you know like that because I knew like she should come back looking for me because like I stopped like giving her the time I used to give her mm. so I knew that would bring like would make her like crave for me and it worked so she kept coming back even like even like, like, she, like I kept telling her like like don't come she kept coming back then in that process I got someone else and this person I got had more money was famous was very cute more than them and they used to give me things mm -hmm. so that that started of mine oh no no the one who cheated on me mm -hmm. so they told me like you know i was laying i would leave her in the house to go out then every time she'd ask me i'd be like ah i was with this, i was with so and so so and so and i made sure that she finds out that i was dating someone else so you stayed for revenge <laughs> hey, yes so <laughs> and like I know it's bad and very yeah, I'm toxic, but like like you stayed in a relationship just to No, you you know why? Like let me tell you something. I don't cheat, I live. Like let me tell you something. I cheat back. I don't cheat, I live. But you know the funny thing, like as if you're cheating on her cause me it's a nali in a mess on your but showed me she's gone. Like she wanted to stay around. Who am I to chase you when you still want to come and and you give me service? I'm not going to say no. Like me, let them bask in the glory. Yeah, yeah like I'm mm. okay. Like for, for me, revenge, eh? cause like I'm usually very loyal, like to, to the people I date and my friends. Mm. Like I'm so loyal to an extent that when you do something like to me, like it really hurts me so much, cause I know I would never do something like that to you. Yeah. So even if you're my friend and you betray me, even like the smallest betrayal, like I swear I have to pay you back. Mm. I have to in any way. Mm. Ah, okay, it is as yeah. simple as that as she said it's it. I mean, oh. <laughs> it like a hard let's try. Let's try to take it as she she said it as simple as that. She yeah. will stay there. You will do something to her, and she will keep. I will stay. She will <laughs> stay just to revenge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. This got me thinking. I mean, the, the all, all the answers you gave me. I'm just thinking to women or girls out there in relationships or even friendships. Yeah, mm. I don't feel like you need to settle for you know for less. If you feel like you're not feeling the way you want to feel, because it's about feelings, right? Mm. I don't feel some type of way. I don't feel happy with you. I don't feel like you know you are there. There are some things you do that I don't feel like I want to. You know, I have to take all that in. It is okay to walk. But I'm also as you're saying that we need people to understand that perfect people don't exist. Exactly. So there is no person yeah. who is going to give you a hundred percent. What you should look at most importantly is when is this person responsive to the things you're complaining about? And because and sometimes to, to people will do error. Mm. You tell them yeah. they change. Mm. You get it, yes. Because mm -hmm. people will just now be thinking that I walk out. You will walk forever, girl. Most <laughs> people don't exist. And it's okay it's to walk forever walking. because if you still don't feel like you fit somewhere. Yeah. I'll be but another. what I should not perfect people don't exist. You're yeah, they're not perfect, perfect yeah. people, but you know what you you're want. You're not perfect. Mm. You know what you want. But you know what you want, and, and you know your worth. And you you're know your worth. Perfect. Yes, you're not perfect. but you also know your worth. No, so then don't know that. You know your worth while not being perfect. <laughs> Smiley shared something. She said, you know, words drain her. You tell her something, she's going to shrink in three days over something like you're ugly. Not just words. Not just words. It, it, it depends on the context of the word. Say all these mean and toxic things and under the pretense of I'm joking, I'm like kidding. Aggression. Yeah, me, I keep telling them, do not joke with me like that, my friend. Because I won't joke with you like that. Do not joke with Electra like that. Yes. So, with all <laughs> with Let's go for a short.